The title of this wow this week is Thank You, Colin Firth, for dropping my version of the F-bomb. All right, the morning after the Oscars, the only conversation appeared to be Melissa Leo's really incredibly unfortunate use of what commentators are referring to as the F-bomb. I don't think we need to say any more about it. It was incredibly unfortunate. Instead, I would like to talk about Colin Firth and his use of my version of the F-bomb. In this case, instead of referring to his fellow nominees as amazing or incredible or inspiring, um, or awesome, uh, he said being on that list was formidable. Thank you, Colin Firth, for not falling back on those useless modifiers. Uh, thoughtful vocabulary will always win in every category. What other things uh, was I very pleased about? What else made my heart sing? Randy Stevens. Uh, I love the fact that he noted in his thank you um, ex acceptance speech for best song that thank you slow down the show. Right? They're not good TV. That's what he said. So I tell my clients this all the time. Don't begin with your thank yous. Begin with a fact. Begin with a statistic. Begin with a story. Then you can thank people at the end when they've done something worth being thanked for. They've listened to you. Two people who did this very well and in a very inclusive way. One was David Seidler when he thanked um, stutterers throughout the world. Uh, in, he accepted his Oscar on their behalf. Uh, and I thought that was nice and very inclusive. The director of Toy Story 3 thanked audience members around the world for coming out in historic numbers. Again, it was inclusive. Uh, your audience wants to feel that you're speaking with them and not at them. So as you craft your remarks, you want to begin to frame them that way. And finally, I want to talk about three rules for the red carpet. Number one, be attentive. I speak a lot with my clients about having an attentive listening face. Right? This is a happy expectant face. Uh, this is not what I call taxi meter eyes, which are just marking time until you stop talking so I can start talking because I want to talk about me. Don't do that. Or the deer in the headlights look. Don't love that. Who has a great listening face? Jennifer Hudson has a great listening face. She actually looks like she's listening to the interviewer's question and then considering how she's going to respond. Crazy. Uh, another rule for the red carpet is think before you speak. A few nominees were asked, you know, have you thought about your remarks? And they said, no. Really? No. Um, I don't know if the choice was maybe they wanted to appear modest, like, oh, I don't think I'm going to win, or if they're trying to be cool, which is the least bo you know, interesting thing for anybody to watch. I find that so boring. Uh, so no one is better off the cuff. And that includes you. Think about what you're going to say before you say it. And finally, the last rule for the red carpet, know before you go. This is the same rule when you get to the red carpet as in life, as in the blind date, as in the one night stand. You need to know the name of the person you spent the evening with. So regardless of who made your dress or your shoes or your jewelry or your bag, you need to know how to pronounce their name. When you don't, everybody gets cranky. Thank you so much. I hope this was helpful.